Hey, what's up? Welcome to it, the What More Can I Say podcast episode. What number we on today? Oh, he said that with his chest. I know exactly what he said. What did he do? What did he do? (laughs) Shout out to Ryder, bro. All right, hey. I'm one of your hosts, Toll Capone, and let's go ahead and introduce the rest of the pod fam. She is the first lady of the pod, the only lady of the pod. She is fluffy and fine. Her name is Kiki. Hey. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. Oh, Zach. Oh, Zach. Zach. Oh, oh, I hope you feel better, friend. Woo, woo. But hey, hey y'all. Hey, hey, Kiki. What's up? Yeah, you go cheer up your brother on your side, that side I mean, of the room? I mean, I'm trying, but he's just so down. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dang. Oh, Zach. All right, man. He is the funny man of the pod, and uh, his energy's down. Show him some love. Zach Book. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. woo. woo, woo. woo, woo. Come on. Heard baby daddy music. <laughs> Whatever future be saying. We do not trust you. Uh, hey, the, the hey, way we hey, do not trust hey. you. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. feel better. I do. I feel better. Her, yes. baby, her baby, her baby, daddy music is gonna end up trending. Yes. It is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's though. the category for future. Yes. It's right on time. <laughs> oh, don't cry, please. I love it. No, I'm not gonna cry. Oh, okay. I'm like, look, we ain't never had no tears on a pod. Please. <laughs> I think that might get us some. Hey, Uh-oh. if you feel it, do it. Oh God. You know what I'm like. Hey, you he know what he do anything. Don't, yeah, for he don't care about your mental health at all. Oh, no, just He's cry. Like, yeah, they watch cry. the pod. Cry. Cry. <laughs> Let it out, my brother. Let it out. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the pod, man. We'll go right into it. Uh, a lot of stuff happening, man. We got Diddy, mm-hmm. more Diddy allegations. Uh, we got Yay Legends. We got it, it's just a lot of stuff that's that's going on. What what are you what are you thinking? Mm, well, we could start with the yay stuff. Catch me up. Okay. What they saying yay did now? Okay. Uh, here, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, Kanye, because, uh, you know, black men right now, we standing, man, smack dab in the middle of being alleged for everything. Uh, there's a Donda employee, a former employee, uh, so that means she got fired. All right. Well, he got fired. It's Trevor Phillips. Okay. Um, filed a lawsuit against him, and then inside that lawsuit said that Kanye... Wanted to put a jail in the Donda Academy. Mm. Okay. Mm. That'll yeah. make y'all feel no a type jail of way. for the children, like yeah. the students. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wanted to shave heads and actually put the kids in jail, and they allegedly almost pleased himself publicly at the school. I don't know if it's at the school, but that's what they, that's what he said. And he, they, the, it's alleged in this that he treated the black employees worse than he treated the white employees. That's what the man said in the. And the lawsuit said he yelled and belittled the uh, black employees, but he didn't do that with the white employees. Zach, so you know a lot more about this than I did. Yep. What yep. Is, uh, so, yeah. is this story made you why you sad? Nope. So for the pop fam, how about this? We're gonna, <laughs> this story seems like it's triggering Zach because no. he's not, he's not in a good he's not in a good space. So we can tell you about Kiki and I day at the Cubs game. How about that? Okay. That's, oh yeah, sure. Why do you Let's... think this story triggered me? I don't know because your energy not I'm right. Just so we're gonna I'm, you I'm just I'm just a little under the weather. Get your shit together. All right. Yes. <laughs> get your shit together. All right, Kiki. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about. Let's talk about it. I dated the Cubs. Mm-hmm. Now I had fun. Now what I realized. I bet is this, you did. I, we, uh, 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 ho, hold on. Uh, okay. So this is my part about it. Come mm-hmm. on. One, I don't know why Kiki never drinks with me. Hey, Kiki. All right, what's up? Let's get a shot. No, nah, I'm good. I'm like, what? All right, let's get you what you want, son, to drink. No, nah, I'm cool. She ain't drinking nothing all day? I don't know what she was drinking, but every time I've ever offered Kiki a drink, she ain't never took it. I took a drink well, with her on her Tom, birthday. Tom, Tom, she, you can't drink and be pregnant. Ah, there you know that. Oh my you God. know that. You cannot this drink. Man, you, are, you are nuts. Dead. You are so Dead. nuts. So, oh I my mean, God. If, if she's not drinking... <laughs> First of all, I am not pregnant. Put two and two together. Second of all, the reason I don't drink with Tone is because Tone comes to every function I'm at two hours after I've already been there. So, therefore, I'm already nice and drunk or nice and lit. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't need Tone. He want to walk in and celebrate. this, And this is also kind of like 
Z- Zach and I wake up very early in the morning for work. Mm. Very early. Very. We start our day at like 4 or 3 a.m. And Tone starts his day around noon. <laughs> he going to make sure to call me and Zach around 2 or 3 p.m. Fully energized, ready to have a whole conversation, While ready to sleep. T- yeah, ready to debate uh, world politics. <laughs> and we, and then, and so it's like, sir, I'm sorry that the party can't start till you walk in, but my party had already started <laughs> two hours before you strolled up in there. So I'm do not let him tell y'all that. But okay, yes, mm-hmm. so that's why he, we don't drink together because okay. I'm already lit. Okay, there that there that is. Yes. Uh, it was a, it was a good time, man. It was a good time. The Cubs game, it was cold. Uh, it was interesting though. The Cubs game, it got interesting. <laughs> I, Kiki, I, I don't know. I was minding my business. Now I think either Kiki is an excellent wing person because every time Kiki is around, women love me like a lot. Like it's crazy. <laughs> BT, when we when we at BT, I get the most action ever because Kiki's right there. Uh huh. Uh-huh. She's like, I like Kiki. This is crazy. So I was yeah. like, it might be you, Kiki. Even at your birthday party, like I'll get flirted with. Yeah, I mean, I, I get I get a lot of action yeah, when you're around. You like party. a good you like a good luck charm. Well, I'm happy to be there for you. Thank I you. do, you know, whatever I got to do to get get my little ticket to BET, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so um, I'm always gonna be a good wing woman for you. But you know, I've never been in such danger. Uh-huh. than I've ever been in my life at this Cubs game. Why were you in danger? I have never been. In, let me tell you something. <laughs> The black women love Tone, right? Uh-huh. No, 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 the black women like Tone. They like him. Mm-hmm. They like him a lot. White women <laughs> love Tone, okay? <laughs> it is it's another level that I didn't even know was a, a, like out there. I have grown up with nothing but brothers, so I'm a professional wing woman. I love hanging around the guys. <laughs> And I would I know when to get up out of there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know when to hype you up when you ain't around. I know how to, I got you. But when I tell you at this Cubs game, I'm sitting next to Tone in the little thing watching the game. I got up from under the heater. It's four, it's like 30 degrees in this game. <laughs> I got up from my seat under the heater and moved to a whole nother seat because I felt that my life was in danger <laughs> at this point, the way these women were on this man. It was wild. It was very wild. The white it, women. The white women love him. And the man had on gray sweatpants. Oh, so you now, must... I, I've been with him all day. I didn't even know what kind of pants he had on. <laughs> The lady told me at the game, she said, do you know? First of all, she said, the, the guy that's sitting over there talking to the bosses, um, what's his status? I said, girl, I don't know. His status? Yeah. Oh. I said, girl, that's Tom Capone. She said, that is Tom Capone. She said, wow, he has such a gorgeous smile. Uh-huh. And then she said that we said about five more minutes. I don't know what to say to that. What am I going to say? Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying yeah, he do. You know, I'm like, he all right. I'm like, all right. All right. <laughs> so then she goes, do you know that he has on gray sweatpants? Hell no, no, I didn't know it. Like, what? So then it was just, it, it was, was crazy. Wild. I ain't going to watch this. Zach. It got wild. It got very wild. It got wild. I was just like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. Like this cat. Like a little, it was a little crazy. So did you do anything? No. And okay. I, I don't do that. Even when we at BT, I never do it. I'm professional, man. I'm not. When I'm in work functions, man, I'm not. The 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 animal not coming out. I'm well, not going to go trying to holler at chicks. I'm not on. But Tone, I have seen you. You know. <laughs> you not. You see me in mode outside of situations. I have seen I you might in have been, mode. I've mm-hmm. been, I've been, I've been, you see me in mode like what I've been like. He, I. He's got a cup. My situation and, is over with, and he's got a straw, <laughs> and he's like. I mean, he got I mean, a look in his eyes that I'm like, "Hey, big fella, you gonna be okay?" But have I? But do you ever see? Do you ever see me not? I like I. I never like. <laughs> no, tell it, Zach. Tell it, cause no, he's trying to reel you in. So everybody, know, man, I have a situation. Sometimes up, sometimes down. But I never do nothing on that situation. Right now, it's a down moment, right for that situation. Now, I, I, can, I can say I've never, I've never seen the whole. I've never seen it play out. You know, no, I, mean, I never, I never, it never plays yeah, out. Yeah. Now, when I, when I'm completely removed from everything, then it's gonna play out. Mm. But he has seen me when I, when I've been, I'll, I'll entertain more than what I normally would. I'll entertain more. Uh, I mean, like the only person <laughs> I think that ever, I ever got like super different with, and I had to really like hold, really like I was like, he popped out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it's about to happen. I'm about to start saying some wild stuff and talking. <laughs> it's when Fantasia, we was at Fantasia. I think that <laughs> was when Fantasia, Fantasia was the closest one to you get You almost said a lot of wild stuff to Fantasia? What? 
You had to see how Fantasia looked at me. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was, a cra- it was one of the, it was one of the craziest back and forths. I, I might want to find that interview. It was like a crazy back and forth. Well, I was like, I had to look at it like, Fantasia, you know, I'm from Chicago. I'm gonna- you are her type. <laughs> I will holler at your ass right now. She's my type. I like big we know. black women. We, we know. Oh, <laughs> don't we know. <laughs> like, white women love me, and I appreciate my white sisters that love me. Yes. But I like a big black woman now. <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> what you love? A, a, a big, big black, black woman. woman. Like, I oh. like, you got to be sturdy. Oh you know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to lie. I, 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 I have no... I love, I, you know, I mean, I, I, I've dated white women, age, mm-hmm. I've dated them all. Yes. But I, if you go ask me, if you go ask me what my goddamn favorite What's is. What's your now, favorite? A big black woman now. <laughs> not no skinny black woman, not a medium size, uh-uh. a big sturdy black woman. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Sturdy for me? <laughs> sturdy. You, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you solid. Have, you solid. Like when you look at you, oh she got God. a mean ass walk. She like Nobody skirts look, a big black woman look good in skirts. What? She look good in sundresses. She look good oh in God. a bikini. Yes. She look good yes. in a goddamn smock. <laughs> big big black. black woman ain't nothing. What? Don't no. let her get some box braids on your ass. Oh. A big black woman with box braids. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> and if y'all really want to get them, put a body stocking on. Ain't oh, 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 my God. Oh, my. I think. The only man I know. <laughs> I thought, like I know, a body I like, stocking. What? A body stocking. I'm from the 70s. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Yes. I don't that. Body stocking. Yes. Like, fancy panties and drawers is cool, but a body, body stocking for a brother from the 70s. Yes. Man, ladies, if you dating a dude from the 70s. <laughs> from the 70s. <laughs> Any of you, man, he is born from 70 to 79, mm-hmm. not 80. Not, not 69, that'd be crazy, too. Uh-huh. But, like, 70 to 79, <laughs> you don't wear Victoria's Secret. Go, go to the get beauty your body supply. stocking. They won't wear it, though. They yes. can't reuse them. <laughs> yes. Can't yep. reuse them, because it's gonna get, it's gonna, things are going to be all messed up after that. Yep. Get you a beauty supply body stocking. Yeah, what? And pull up on top. 12 bucks? <laughs> 12. <laughs> you, want a, you want a hot 12? I got oh, it for you. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. All right. But it, now that we've done that, though, but uh-huh. it was it was a it was an interesting it was an interesting moment. But I, when I thought about it, I relived it. I said it was all Kiki. It was crazy. <sighs> and he, the one thing about Tom, when he get in them situations, he keep following me. Like, why? <laughs> I, I didn't try to get away from you and all this that's going on. I turn around. He, I'm like, why is you right here again? <laughs> Go back over there because they they weren't even to fight me. I don't look. <laughs> they mad at you. Yeah. I'm like, go. It got. It got. It got. It got, it got it got it got uncomfortable. It got it like it was like it was it was like it was at some point it was like make a choice. Yes. Yeah. I was like I was yes. like I'm gonna get because one thing that I, just go ahead and say it. Mm-hmm. White women are scared of big black women and Kiki's a big what? black. Woman. They are not scared of me. They are not scared so if of you, me. If you stand close oh enough, my God. you I'm get close enough nice. to a big black woman. They ain't gonna they leave you alone. Oh it's like a God. force field. <laughs> From everything. She like they, I'm telling you. But he don't know. I'm over there gassing him up. Like, yeah, y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get him, hey, girl. Yeah. Hey, Diddy need a big black woman. They would have been that protects Jesus. you, brother. I don't know. So, something about a big black woman that'll protect your ass. You are sick. <laughs> so wrong. No. Something is really wrong with him. All right. I, all right, y'all. Um... <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, all right, uh, how about this? Uh-huh. Uh, Flavor of Love is reportedly in the process of a reboot, but with a change. The production company Fifty One Minds is plotting a comeback for the former competitive dating series. Additionally, it was revealed that Flavor Flav will have uh, a hand in the reboot, but I don't think he's going to be the person. Uh-huh. Um, we're in the process of working with Flavor Flav to reimagine what the Flavor of Love can feel like in this decade, which will be very difficult, but the project is going to be really fun, uh, comedy in the dating space. It's going to be really cool. This time around, Flay will not be the lucky bachelor on the show. Instead, the rapper will solely just be a part of the production process. Yeah, I mean, like... I mean, that makes sense. You can't, that makes sense. You can't keep having women pretend to act like they like Flavor Flay. <laughs> well, what I said, I knew you a just girl can't. from here that was on, flavor, on the Flavor of Love. You they can't. Char- they said he's charming. Uh. I'm I sure. mean, Delicious was on. I know Delicious. They, she said he was charming. Didn't she win it? Yes. Delicious yeah. won it. I yeah. met. I know Delicious. 
Do I name? Do I know. I know two. Kel, Kelly from Kelly J from here. Mm-hmm. She was on there. Y'all not gonna I think sit it was up here. Second season. Y'all not gonna sit up here and act like no. Third. 30 beautiful women I just no, trying no, to fight for Flavor Flav. They can't do it. For, for Flav. They can't yeah. do it. They gonna have to just, they, they maybe, what do you think? They gonna pick another rapper, Kiki? What rapper would they pick? I don't know. Are they going with ugly rappers? Are they keeping the theme going? <laughs> they should. They should, yeah. So who should they put in there? I don't know, you tell me. Who the ugly rappers? I'm a man, you tell me, you the woman. I, hey, I mean, because ugly is, is um... It's up to the the it's eye of the man. Right, yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? Because you could be ugly, but if you got everything else, if you got money, you funny, you smell good, you got nice teeth, ugly will take you far. You dated ugly guys before, Kiki? You date ugly? No, I don't date ugly men. Um, like, like, but I, I would, I, you know, I don't want no man that's real attractive. Can't no, I can't date nobody that look better than me. So that's any man, insane. that's so funny. That's yeah. so crazy. Like, I wouldn't have, like, you know what I'm saying? The finest man I like is Omarion. And I would never like take that serious, you know what I'm saying? Because like, you too pretty. We so both you... laying our edges down. It's not gonna work. But I like, you, you want know, ugly man. No, I don't want no ugly man. But I'm just saying, ugly can get you far. Mm. How? Look at Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav was talented though. And you got money. Okay. And you fun to be around. You don't have to give it to you. Y'all got I mean... ugly friends. Let's not. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't act like y'all don't have no ugly dudes in y'all little crews that y'all done seen him pull something and y'all like, damn, how? If you funny and you got money and you smell good, you got good teeth, you got a nice life, girls don't give it, we don't care I think, I think, like I, think, I, think I think for men, I think, I, think for, I think anything. If you don't look a certain way, I think I said this on the show yesterday. What do you think, Zach? I said, well, confidence is one. That, you're right. Confidence, confidence, like, if you confident, you got to be and not when we say ugly, we just mean if you judge him, Holly Berry versus somebody else. So mm-hmm. we, we, we'll put that or, or Bernice versus somebody else or whatever man you want to put in there. But I think confidence has a lot to do with it. Confidence, because it don't matter what you weigh. It don't matter what you weigh or what you look like. Or whatever. What's the other thing? What was it like? If you're too skinny, I mean, whatever. I, ju- I just I'm more impressed by my broke friends who pull with me more than the, yeah more than the 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 way they look. It's like you have nothing to offer, and you just you just got you got plenty of them. What are you doing? Yeah. Like how are you staying over here? Like I got a I got a homeboy. This he used to be a different. Now he was a male gigolo. Mm. So he was selling it. I don't know. Yeah, he wasn't selling it, but he was the type of dude that would like. He literally one day he told me he had sex three times before noon. Come on. What? In that day. And it was with three different women. That's nuts. He lied. I said, how did you do this? And when he told me the what he, what happened, I was like, oh, that did happen. But you are, you, first of all, you're wild. How did you have that much stamina? And you that's what you do. And then that's what I realized. That's how he, you know, always got somewhere to stay, always driving somebody's car, always. he he, he He's having sex for survival. Oh, he he a he, he, he male thought yeah, like that's just, just what i mean like it. a chick like a, like chicks they it's find a lot no place of, it's to a stay. lot of them it's a lot of dude thoughts that yes do that. oh my god you think yes. it's more than women no it's probably about equal i feel like women get the bad rap <laughs> it's uh, definitely not equal it's definitely it's equal definitely not Zach. Equal. it's not equal go Kiki. through your friend group Kiki. right now Kiki is go not through equal. your friend group oh, right now no purpose to see. that girl that girl yes. national women's month every yes. day of her life yes every day Y'all, first y'all of have all, it all together. First I'm of telling all, you. Pe- penis is not on the same. If you value, the, the level <laughs> of the penis truth. on the value chart is low. Like, What do you it. mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Sex sells. Vagina sells. Yes. Not penis. Penis do sell. Penis ain't got no value out here in the world. It do, has none. It does it have does not have, have no, no value, value. The, on the street. No, it don't. <laughs> It is like, man, it's like T-Mo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everywhere. Y'all need to value y'all self a little you bit get more. That in- no. It has yeah, no value. I can value yourself, but you, you don't, you, your penis like, has no you value. You ain't never heard the girls, ooh, we about to go to a male strip club. Y'all don't even go to them. <laughs> y'all y'all look at it like, ugh. Uh, like, don't. you say, you, you, how many times you been in a strip club, well, and you seen a pack of women in it? A pack, ain't no dudes in there, and, they ain't, oh, and, like in those, real- and those women are straight. Yeah, 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 that's true. And they straight as hell. They like they just going in there because they like oh, we because that's the thing. Women cheer. That's 
That's why social media works, because women cheer on other women. Mm -hmm. They might be a small percentage of hate, but they're like, yeah. if a girl look good, she dress good, y'all a follower like that. That girl got it on. That bitch got it on. Mm -hmm. She doing what she supposed to do. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Dude's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not getting me to do that. You got it on. You got, got it on. on. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm a, I'm right now. I'm locked into TikTok. I don't know how TikTok has me in a headlock. I like, told you, it got me in a headlock, man. Mm -hmm. You've been following Kiki too long. Same I follow TikTok. T I, I, I follow Kiki. Her big back reviews are amazing. They yes. get me laughing. I think Kiki's funniest thing. Have you seen yeah. anything when she was upset about what's her name? Have you seen that? What upset she, about what? Wendy Williams and she was fake smoking a fake cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> She had told me she was going to do that video, but I don't think I had seen the finished product. Because <laughs> I, I was really bothered. And that's when, yeah, my, when I, I get really, really bothered by something, I have to smoke. Uh, but you don't smoke a cigarette. cigarette. Oh, for real. I know. It's like in my mind, though, I'm like sitting on my porch in my robe, <laughs> smoking my cigarette. Stressed out. <laughs> Stressed out. So, yeah, that's, that, that's where that come from. But, yeah. All um, right. Uh, let's get to this real quick. Um, let's get up into it. I know you don't like talking about it, Kiki. but. What? Uh, because you're scared of him. So we'll go to Zach first. Okay. Diddy. Uh, Diddy. Diddy. Now, now I'm going to say this. and We went a little bit into it. Does mm -hmm. it seem like the Little Rod allegations are a little off? Or are you still riding with it? I've never rolled or went against these allegations. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. All right. Right. I don't exactly. know. I don't know what Diddy has done. You know what I'm saying? But I do know that the feds raided his house, and he still is, hasn't been arrested or charged with anything. Mm -hmm. And I think they used excessive force, putting guns to kids' heads, children's mm -hmm. heads, mm -hmm. and locking them up like they animals, like you going after Pablo Escobar, and it's about to be a shootout, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. If you're going to come into somebody's house with that much military force, you would think that somebody would be going to jail. Yep. And I that's what I really don't like about it. Um, as far as what he's done and these allegations, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't know. Uh, I know the man liked to party. We know that. We've all heard the little stories of Diddy parties get wild. You know, whatever. I, I I don't I don't I don't know. But I just feel like it needs to be some charges. It needs to be some something concrete, other than all this alleged stuff from a, a stuff that people are saying in the document. You know what I'm saying? If he said that in the document, then we need to pull him up on some charges. He needs to. You know, we it needs he needs to go through trial. Okay. And if, if he goes through trial and he's found guilty of these things, then, you know what I'm saying, I'll be like, all right, then we, we see what happened with Diddy. But like I was saying in the last episode, we so quick to tear people down. Kiki alluded to it. Like, without no charges, we've already tore him down. So it's like we've, we've, we've already made the memes. We've already beat him up. You know what I'm There's saying? No we, stuff. we already talked about him so bad, and he, and he ain't even been convicted of nothing yet. I, I'm going to come back to you. Because it's a question I want to ask. All right, uh, Kiki. Yeah. You seeing this alleged? Don't be scared. We here. It's a safe place. You tell us that all the time. It's the pop fam. None of the no, nobody's safe. Okay, <laughs> nobody's safe in this case. Um, and my only, you know, I, I stick by what I've said in the past, which is he has not been proven guilty in the court of law. So I'm not going to be one of the ones to drag him um you know although i when i tell you the lady on tiktok has been on my ass about this case <laughs> with all the type of details facts dates papers camera footage it's looking real guilty it's looking From but you TikTok. know yeah, yeah but you know i a a stranger things have happened so he has not been convicted however what's disturbing me is Lil rod every time i check your instagram he has the first three things pinned on his Instagram is him and Diddy. They working out together. They in the studio together. They hanging out together. If you, if Diddy did all that you say he did to you, can you just do me a solid and take this off your Instagram? Because every time I go to your page to go through evidence, it's like <laughs> you and Diddy having a great time. And you look like you're not in any danger. And you look like you are living your best life. So that the post of you and him still pinned on your page is very odd to me. I don't know. Well, That's just the only thing. I told you about Lil Rod, Kiki. You, trauma, you trauma. Did. You're not putting the person pinned to remind you of the trauma. People block people for less. And I, I'm not. Maybe the lawyers told him don't touch his Instagram. Lead the proof. Okay, I don't know. Sure. But it's like y'all working out Instagram? together looks crazy to What's me. What's his Instagram? Uh, Lil Rod made it. 
Okay. Now he is on his Instagram page also asking for like help with a GoFundMe to fight the case and to fight for his publishing. Um, so when you do you do look at it like, damn, it really is a money grab. You want to throw some bread to him? Me? All of us. I don't want anything to do with this. I ain't gonna. Lie I don't to want you. my cash out. No way on the paperwork. I don't want nothing to do with this. Um, nothing at all. Little Rod, I'm so, a, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. You Lil see Rod. it though. Send, send him a little something, bro. Little Rod, <laughs> Little Rod, Little Rod. No, no, no. Now, now, this, this gives a totally different see, I, 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 perspective. Look, now we gotta say because like we got to say this. No, no, no. Because you saying that Diddy did all this stuff to you, including Stevie J. But I'm sitting here looking at a video of you. Dancing with Stevie J on your Instagram. Look like y'all having a good time. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what I meant by you we have to be careful when we say the word victim. So let me go back and stop. Ask this is the question I want to ask. Go ahead. How many times have we be you in a fraternity? Definitely then through parties at the Alpha House, definitely through parties at the Kappa House. Yeah. What are you basically telling everybody to, to do? Have a good time. Everybody's drinking. Everything's consistent. Now, if there's drugs and stuff, putting people's drinks without them knowing, there's a problem. Yes. But this is the same type of situation. If Zach says, hey, I'm Zach Boog, the Alpha. I'm throwing a party at the Alpha House in Tennessee State. Everybody's coming and having a good time. Is it fair for them to say, like, you, oh, you don't care what's going on in your house and you, people having sex in your house. Uh, at house parties, wild stuff happens. That's why more people than not have house parties mm-hmm. because they don't want the restrictions of being out in the night mm-hmm. or the nightclub. Am I wrong? You understand what I'm saying, Zach? Yeah. Did I miss you? No, you you did. I, I'm just I, as I'm I'm just looking at his Instagram. No, that's why I, I just want you to stop and have that that perspective. So no, I have finish. that perspective, but I've I've always had this this perspective as far as Lil Rod goes and what he's saying. Because he was the videographer, it looks like he's a uh, uh, um, a producer, mm-hmm. um, and it looks like I'm not. Um, he's worked with T Pain, Mary J, Jeremiah, Jack Harlow. You know what I'm saying? Like his credits look like it's crazy. Like he's he he he's called himself Hitman Lil Rod. And okay? that, I think all those credits came from that Diddy album, the Love album. All those people had something to do. Dope. Right. Dope. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is. We have to be careful when we use the word victim because sometimes, okay, I'm going to say this. People will do anything. You know, We all know people who will do anything to be famous or do anything to be around famous people, mm-hmm. okay? They will put themselves in and they don't care. They, they'll, they'll sacrifice their dignity, their pride, they eat, everything to be around certain people. Now, if unless you were forced, locked in the room, beat up on, Threatened, threatened, your life was threatened. You know what I'm saying? If those things were happening, then yes, then you're a victim. But if you are, if somebody's like, "Hey, do some cocaine with this man in the bathroom," and you go do it, you wanted you you wanted to do it. And if you didn't want to do it, you why didn't you say no? Man, Some man. of this is choice, especially if you're a grown ass man. Hey, we're about to go do cocaine I'm sitting here and have sex in the back. I'm literally and watching you, go, you dance. You, I with, was forced. Yeah, you, you, it's it's just hard to say that you were forced. Like, bro, you're. You're dancing with Stevie J right now. You're you're working out with Diddy perfectly fine. But this is the man that's making you do stuff? Hey. Is he making you or did you decide to come back, bro? Have sex with me or you got to get out of my house. Bye. <laughs> right. It's a choice. That's a choice. <laughs> right. that's, a choice. That's, that's all I'm that, saying. That is true. Some, but Sometimes, so, hey, have sex with me or you're going to lose your job. That is against the law. And and you whatever business you able to sue for that type of damages, mm-hmm. but if you if you decide to go have sex, <laughs> there's right. a it gets it gets a little murky up there. Right, but if you touch me inappropriately without oh, my yeah, that's consent, bad. and that's those are so yes, what you're saying is absolutely true. It looks crazy. It looks like he was having a great time. It looks like all these things, but on top of that, he is still alleging that he was. Touch without his permission by Cuban Gooding Jr. allegedly and Diddy. He was also drugged allegedly with a drink with his drinks and things that he didn't know. He just woke up naked, things like that. So he is alleging things that are criminal. Was that, and was that can- before or after the workout? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm <laughs> I just asking want to know. him to well, remove. As soon as I that- wake up naked, I ain't coming back. <laughs> 
That's why I'm asking for him to remove that from his Instagram <laughs> if this is the case because it just makes his story, it takes away the credibility of his story of being a victim. And that was my only issue with the case. Leroy, I still support you in finding so out like, what was what. But you're not I, gonna get on know, the treadmill after you wake up naked. Right. No. Like when I look was at that your before Instagram. Before or after I start dancing with Stevie J. You see what I'm saying? Right. I just wanna know. When was it? When I look at your Instagram and then I look at the the US uh goddamn it, uh Navy SEALs or whoever they had pull up to the crib to raid it with bulletproof vests and people dressed in trees, like <laughs> Dressed your cheer. Instagram and then that reaction it makes Diddy it looks like it's you know like overboard like it was excessive force it looks crazy when I look at your Instagram and you was like you, you're you like working out with him and having a great time yeah. I, didn't I didn't like know. I didn't like that the only thing that made me question it and I mean like I said we don't know all of the details there's a lot of those alleged in those in that paperwork mm-hmm. and I didn't like calling and then I watched everybody pile on and, and say stuff Call a young Miami and a Daphne Joy sex worker. You know, you got you, know, you got fifty calling his own baby mom, little sex worker. I like, bro, fifty fifty fly. I can't believe, I, I can't believe before he was in a relationship, fifty one flying women in left and right. When you got that type of bread, that's just and, and you. It just seems like when you call him, that sex trafficking word is being thrown around, and I know people that have had very bad experiences in that place, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. They've had people force them, then had people set them up and put them in a lifestyle that they can't get out of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They can't get out of. And I think, I wonder how those people that are being, that have been really sex trafficked. You got mm-hmm. people that have been taken from their homes in these countries and don't speak a lick of, en- yes. lick of en- English mm-hmm. and then forced to do something for, for survival in another country. Mm-hmm. These are, this... But we just tossing around like sex trafficking when somebody getting flew out. They didn't been they been talking to each other on Instagram <laughs> on social media the whole time, and they didn't flew them to to Miami, flew them mm-hmm. to L.A., flew them to Houston to have sex with them. That's not sex trafficking if somebody is getting on a plane willingly and wants to go. It does not make sense. And they say, okay, it's all right to have sex with me. There's there's so many different ways you could look at it. Yeah, okay. She maybe the person flew there and decided they didn't want to. And then they maybe drugged them. And it's a lot of maybes in there. But at the end of the day, I feel like that word's being thrown around because we all know rich people, people. I'm single. If I meet somebody and I'm talking to somebody on Instagram and we talking to each other on the phone, on the phone, I'm gonna fly you in. And we're gonna go to dinner and but we're adults. That's not so it's deeper than that. Okay, talk because to Because that's, that's uh, you know, that's getting flued out, as Young Miami said. Yeah. What they're alleging is that there's this sex trafficking ring that powerful people like Diddy and others use to f- get sex workers to come do whatever they want them to do, which would be the sex trafficking that you was describing at first. What so, do you mean? I, I, I'm confused. So flying Young Miami to wherever is not sex trafficking. Okay. Right? Because we know she's a willing participant. But if... Diddy called you and said, fly Kiki, big, fat, fluffy ass to me, and I'm going to do whatever I want to do with her, and I work for you, and I have to go do it, then I'm a, that's sex trafficking. Okay. You see All what right, I'm I saying? But what so, if I said, Kiki, Diddy, Diddy like wants you. you. Want to get on this plane? I'm like, Tom, let me get my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I see what he did for young Miami. Let me get my purse. <laughs> he like, I'll be back. I'm about to get a remote TV show, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like Kiki. Now you know we need to step this pod up. I'm kidding. <laughs> you can do what I'm you want to do, but, but no, we but... get you if if she could get a show. I know goddamn well you tell. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that's different, right? That's not sex trafficking. That's Kiki giving it up for something. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being me. You know, doing yeah. what I want to do. That's different. But what they're alleging is that it was a it's a ring. It's a whole setup. It's different connections to different all these powerful people who you know do uh, hire these. Um, sex, you know, sex trafficking people, and they and they do, it. and it, sex trafficking is a very big problem in the U.S. Yeah, I believe it. It's it's really serious, so and you know. What about this, Zach? Is this sex trafficking under Kiki's definition? If I let's just let's just say we are rich, Zach, me, all hang out, we hang out with all of the rich people, got mm-hmm. all the rich guys out here, and. We all got all of the same because it seemed like they date the same chicks over and over and over again. And we got 
hey, Tone, you used to date blah, 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 didn't you? Yeah, y'all ain't together. Yeah, nah, man, you know, I just, we was just hollering for a minute. Hey, you hook me up? You'll slap me, you'll, you'll, sit, you'll tell, you like, mm-hmm. is it cool? You got a number or something? Like, you, hey, what? what's going on? And I say, yeah, I, hook, I try to, I throw you a lob, so to speak. And, and she go, is that a sex ring? Because I, I honestly, because that's what I think. Is that? No, nah, that ain't a sex ring. What is that, Zach? That's just. That's, that's the, your imagination. Yeah, that's just going and that through, ain't what Diddy being confused That's just going of. through the back door. No, yeah. you know, wait a minute. You honestly don't think that, because we heard it on one podcast. I can't remember. I think maybe Adam 22 or something. You don't think that all of these rich men, are they not sharing these women on purpose? You don't think no, that? No, they're upset. They Future and Drake fighting. Uh, Future and... Um, no, I saw that. They it, all upset about it. You remember it was alleged that the dude from the wrestling... What was that? Uh, was it Vince McMahon? I don't want to say... Uh, I don't want to say the wrong Now, why you didn't brought Vince McMahon into this? Have. What the WWE got was to do it Vince, with this? Was it Vince? It was? Okay. Um, alleged. Alleged. Allegedly had... Alleged, alleged. He allegedly had a woman that he had when he was trying to sign one of the wrestlers. Um, and was like, hey, you know, this this girl was one of the girls who's gonna have sex with when when he said had sex with him, that's what she's supposed to do. And he got mad at her allegedly for not have for her having sex with him on her own, but she was supposed to do it when only when he asked. And that, and that's what Tony is saying. Like in in these powerful circles, they have women that they use just for sex. But if I signed the permission slip and I decided I wanted to go on a field trip, that is different than. I get, I'm being controlled and held against my will and drugged and abused by somebody. So it's two different things. When you look at Diddy and Young Miami and Daphne, allegedly, that's them just wanting to have sex and do whatever with these men. That's If I choose to be a sex worker, that's my line of business. That is my, well, that's what I yeah. want to be. But you have a you have another group of women who have not made that choice. They may have been kidnapped at a young age. They might have been runaways, and they ended but up with that, a pimp. I guess it's what it's I'm new asking, age is that, pimping. Is that what is that what Diddy is being accused of? Diddy is being accused of a crime, which is sex trafficking. However, y'all want to put in y'all imagination to describe what's not sex trafficking is fine. <laughs> but what Diddy is being accused of is the the sex trafficking definition on paper. It's not what Tone that came up with in his imagination. It ain't what you just tried to throw the WWE people in there about. It is a crime <laughs> that this man is being accused of. Now, whatever y'all want to define as sex trafficking. Because I'm really trying confused. to be like, if I if I if I get a girl from Markham and I drive her to Calumet City, then that is that ain't sex trafficking, Kiki. Well, that ain't what Diddy is being accused of. So what they got to do with this conversation? I like how y'all trying to help, but it ain't it's not the I, same. I just, I, okay, I just was being we weren't helping. Oh, you smoke? We made you smoke. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, how I many do I gotta pull up on the dictionary.com what sex trafficking is for y'all? Yes, because yes, we don't yes. we're not so understanding because we're not man, I'm not un, I just wanna I have a better a, understanding. Oh seventy nine. Because I'm sitting we I, I'm sitting up, I'm sitting there saying a man saying Harvey. he was sex trafficking, but he got he working out with him. Jesus. Okay. Now they didn't pull up the 800 number, so now I didn't Google this, so they're going to be calling my phone trying to ask me if I'm a sex trafficking girl. But here's what it is. Let's see. Sex trafficking. A crime involving the exploitation of a person for labor, services, or commercial sex. Do y'all understand what it is now? Hell no. Nah. I wasn't a good dad. I ain't good dad. They I don't, don't want to understand. Hold on. They no, don't want to understand. Read it one more time. No, no. Read it one more time. Oh, my God. I went to SIU, so, <laughs> I, you know, I got that Geary Public School education, so just go ahead. Okay, how about this definition? Sex, Human sex trafficking is modern-day slavery, and it involves force, fraud, corro- I can't say that word, corrosion? Mm-hmm. Coro- I can't either. The whole Cor- pod dumb. Coercion. Sorry, y'all. Um, and la- Coercion. Forcing, forcing somebody to have sex. Okay? That is sex trafficking. She said we don't. Forcing somebody to have sex? Forcing some. Forcing somebody, it's like a modern day slave trade. Like, slave trade. Oh, now you don't want to stress me. Oh, oh, it and it, really is no, that you know, it, it, no, That's I, not, really it, what is. it is. It is because if you think about it, like I said, I, when I think sex trafficking, it does have a little bit of that idea. The first definition I get don't smoke, don't kill us, Newport. The magic <laughs> Newport, gotta, Kiki, is the fact that I think that is when I, when I think about, uh, especially you see it a lot. 
You see it a lot in airports. See it in a lot of places. If you ever notice, you see it in a lot in airports. You'll see it in cabs. You'll see it's a sticker. And they're like, call this number if you. Yeah, those, those people you like being forced. I think, all type of stuff. But I think when you take. When so you, is what, that what they're saying Diddy is doing? It's kidnapping it using women them. And, and sex trafficking them. Is that, that's all. That's, I guess that's my only question. He may not be the person that is kidnapping them, but he is the person who is paying for exchanges of sex with these people with who are. Sex right. Workers. So if I'm a predator and a psychopath, I might find young girls who are runaways Oof. or who have been, you know, mm-hmm. come from bad homes, whatever. I might kidnap a kid. I move them to another state where they don't, they're not familiar. They have right. no family. A lot right. of them don't speak. The English is not their first language. And I force them into having sex with rich, powerful people. They do it from children up until adult. It's a real thing. It's what he's being accused of. And that is why it's being taken so serious. That is why they're saying that's why the the, the people pulled up to his house the way they did. But my thing is for little Rod to be the accuser. When you look at his Instagram, it looks crazy. It makes it look like Diddy didn't deserve for all the people to pull up to his house like that. When you look at his Instagram and see him on there having a great time with Diddy, having a great time with Stevie J, that is where this originally came from. Exactly, and that, I guess that's where I'm trying right. to figure but out. Right, but for because, y'all, y'all want to act like because the, uh, I guess because the uh, these allegations mm-hmm. are coming from Lil Rod. Right, you see what I'm okay, saying? Okay, I'm saying so. This is all from Lil Rod. He ain't been charged for nothing. He ain't been convicted with nothing. Right. But this coming from Lil Rod, from what we see, from exactly. what Lil Rod said. Yes. So then we went and saw Lil Rod, and Lil Rod is hitting the nay nay. Yes. With Diddy and Stevie <laughs> J. With Diddy, Stevie J. Oh, he's he working Instagram. out with him. He taking pictures with French Montana. Yes. He's he looked like he's in living. the industry, living his best life. Right. Maybe he he locked out his Instagram and he can't he can't um uh, <sighs> well and he can't uh take those pictures down. Okay. I know. I, here, I'm just trying to help here's the another brother thing out. That, that, that bothers me about um, the little Rod allegation. What? Quit bringing up other people. No, 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 no. no. Let me tell you something. There's a, there's an ability to tell what happened to you without bringing in other people's business. Okay. Mm. You don't. You don't have to talk about Young Miami. Mm. You don't. You don't have to talk about Young Miami. You don't have to bring up this part, this other celebrity's name to talk about what has happened to you. With um, with Cassie's accusations, Cassie came in that mug and told you what she went through. Right. Okay? She told you what she went through. She didn't go up there like, oh, yeah, and then it was this person over here, and then bring it up. Stop t- you, you want to tell everybody else business. But t- tell your business. What did you do? Tell what happened to you. But I just feel like, or you can say, an artist, I saw him do this with an artist, you know what I'm saying, and keep that artist's name anonymous. We still know what the, the, if, the, if the crime is illegal, it's still illegal. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't right. necessarily, you don't necessarily need the person's name to, to what's the name? He brought Meek Mill into it, all these other people well, that, you, that you have brought into this. And I, and I don't think it's, that's fair to them. I don't. All right. Because is that better your case? Yeah, I mean... No, it doesn't. It just, it, I'm airing the clip. Like, if I'm emptying the clip, I'm emptying the clip. Everybody was there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zach was there. Tone was there. So, if y'all don't believe me, I could tell you they was there. And now you got to answer those questions. And you got to prove it. So, it helps this case to expose everybody. And, uh, again, if this stuff is true that he's being accused of, then he deserves to be exposed. If this is being exaggerated because you didn't get your publishing money, then we have a problem. And that's... Yeah. Well, but here's my thing. It, 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 you you can't say that, Kiki. What? Because the damage is already done. You see, just just saying it enough, even if he doesn't get, mm-hmm. uh, if, if 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 this all goes away, you've already tarnished di- tarnished Diddy's name. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it it's you, I don't believe that you can just say, oh well, if it's if it's this, then it's it's cool. No, it ain't cool, because yeah. you've already the 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 court of public opinion has already ruled. That's absolutely true. But it and also- that's not fair. But it also is a big red flag that he settled out of the Cassie case and that Cassie made those claims against him as well. We cannot turn a blind eye to that. No, we ain't going to turn a blind eye. I'm not talking about Cassie. I'm talking about Lil Rod. I understand. But you saying that Diddy's image and this and that, his image was tarnished when Cassie did drop the case and he settled it in, in 24 hours. That really did the damage to his legacy. And then now you have somebody else coming out with even deeper claims 
and all this evidence is coming out from other people making accusations, now it's it's bad. But yeah. where there's smoke, there's usually fire. I know we don't want like to accept it, but no, I mean it's, it makes sense. And then even you look at it now, there's also something that dropped. Uh, but regardless, even if it's fake, even if it's not true, he's still damaged. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. It don't matter. If you want to sign the bad boy records, and you want to party with Diddy, then you party with Diddy. You but over me. here, nah. I'm waiting until the, the, they go to court and Judge Mattis decide the case. I'm not going to. Hey. I'm just saying regardless. What about now his son? We his got, son, though. His we got son new... is now accused of being a drug of somebody, allegedly. Allegedly. That's mm-hmm. been that's come up. His son, the, the poor daughter's. They got to live with that. They already lost their mama. Yeah, it's horrible. I mean, it's it's horrible, guys. It really is. But Okay. All right. You guys, anybody's got any story about this homework oh, besides me? Y'all didn't woke me out. I don't know how you woke yourself out. You didn't woke me out, honey. Look, you, look we just, I'm what? just saying. I'm offering another opinion, Kiki. Yeah, yes. That's I, it. I just hope y'all can now explain what human sex trafficking. Is. I know. Oh it yeah, is. I get it now. Okay. I, I get definitely it. Get it now. Yes. So Jeez. the man making the claims out there, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> this don't look like it. I don't oh know if dancing after you say I... sex trafficking is the right thing. To exactly. Do. <laughs> you better. Okay, little Ryan, Diddy, gonna get your ass next. Let's look at your Instagram. Hey, Diddy. <laughs> okay. Go, Diddy. You okay. Dance. That is. It's crazy, I can't but walk... you know. I can't. I don't know. He's locked out his Instagram. Allegedly. I don't, I don't know. Did you say? Did you see that for real? No, I did not. I did not. I'm just you trying. Made to that get, up? I'm trying to give him. A, he, he from Chicago. I'm trying to give him some grace. Mm. But I know. I I know. I'm just saying. I block people for less. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no way I'm gonna have a video of. Nah. Nah. I'm that just ain't. gonna look at my trauma. I couldn't take it. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, y'all got something else? What we got? Um. We got something else. We got a few more minutes on the pod. This you has know. been a random pod, everybody. It has. What what, ha- what has happened here today, everybody? You know, sometimes you have amazing episodes. Sometimes you have <laughs> just okay episodes. And then you have, like, Zach. Zach's energy is down. I don't know. He went to Tennessee State over the weekend, and uh, he's come back different. So we don't know. Okay. We, mm-hmm. we don't okay. know what's going on with Zach. I don't know he went to Tennessee State. That. I don't know what's going he on. He might want. He might have hung out with his boys, and th- now he think me and you lame. Oh, is that what that it is? That could have been that. That could be that. Well, like, yeah, oh man, that. I miss hanging. Yeah. I've been hanging out with Kiki and Tone. I miss hanging out with real. Like, I think that's what it might be. It could he be showing him acting funny. Yeah, we, I'm definitely not acting funny, guys. Mm-hmm. Kiki is Kiki mm-hmm. is not um mm-hmm. herself because I think of her as a sister, and I, you, she is a sister, and then she's a sister in Christ. But she's not. A, she has not. She was not a sister to me at the Cubs game. Because mm. a sister. I mean, I felt. I felt like she left your boy out there. I, I definitely. That did. woman got up and said, "I'm gonna let y'all handle that." <laughs> I had to get out of there. It was not safe for nobody with Tone. So you Come got on. it out of there. Yeah. And Tone, I'm you? the only one normal right now, and I'm going through some sh- sh- right now. You want to talk about it? No, I'm not on the pod. Oh. Outside the pod. I mean, I'm going. That's it. I'm gonna just. You all right? Yeah, I'm gonna sure be you? okay. It's I'm a safe be... space. Nah, I'm just going through some shit right now. I'm uh-huh. hurt. I'm hurt right now. You need any advice from the pie fam? I don't need any advice from the pie. <laughs> I don't need any. Advice. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You need a hug? <laughs> I probably later later on. I'm, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one for. I'm gonna get one for my mama. Okay. My mama hugs always cure everything. Oh, okay. That's a good hug. Cause she tell me everybody's stupid. She'd be like, they all stupid, baby. They are. Okay, cool. That's a, that's it. Uh yeah, so it's it's been an interesting pod. I, I mean, uh, Kiki White. Yeah, and I would like to address that because it's just crazy to me that you white. How y'all shut up? How y'all attacked me for calling Tone Latin, right? And they was they was attacking me. They was like, "You wrong for that. You wrong for that." And last part, I really try to give like some very deep insight on the black culture and how we should support our legends <laughs> and stuff. And he called me a white lady. And you they are. in the comments dying laughing, like, that's what you get, Kiki. Fight back, Kiki. Kiki. Stand up, Kiki. Like, that's not right, Pi Fam. Y'all, was... y'all thought Tone was Latin too. Okay. And so Turns I just out I'm <laughs> not playing. I'm Nigerian. I just Kiki, so you had the most them. white in you. I know I do. In the room. I know I do. Yeah. But we don't know yet. Zach, what is Zach? Zach? Yeah. Stuff, yeah. What is that? They on the way. Back? I don't know. I guess they on the way. 
Don't no, no, look at the app. No, look no, at the app right now. Open the app. It'll the, tell you. Yeah, don't what, show what up here you at? I had to go through the deep roots. I think he's trying to just make us out here so people know right. we out no, here. He don't want to show his. If I am the blackest person on the pod, life is great. Let me stop you because you are not the blackest. I just got more white. You are not the blackest. My black percent was 76. You also 71. Mm. Yeah, so okay. technically, I'm still more black than you. But you also more white than him. Yes, too. I am. Yeah, yes. so, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't how, know. I don't know how you figure that out, man. I don't know. So I don't know. I, I don't know. So what do we go from here then? I don't know, but I'm more black, and I just need to stand on that because I don't appreciate how I'm being treated. Y'all don't come to my defense. I, you don't have, you don't got Caribbean. Oh, you do got Jamaican. Then. Yes. Yeah, that was that was that was the one thing that somebody said. They was like, that is crazy that you and Kiki basically from the same part. I'm Except sorry. You that. got. If the, mine come back and they say Nigerian, Caribbean, and they say the same thing as y'all, I'm going back to 23 and me. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to have a conversation. Don't do that. Because y'all better not be making all black people the same stuff. <laughs> It's black spit. Just make it in. Just make them Nigerian. They won't know. Mix up the numbers. Yeah, they don't know. Mix up the numbers a little bit. So, 23 and me, mine better be distinctly different. That's crazy. That's crazy. Zach Zach, Zach probably like, I don't know. We know what he is. He know he black, black. I ain't guessing on nobody else. Na- they uh, they so tired of drag. I'm so tired of them dragging me. I'm not guessing nobody else nationality. I thought I was Dominican. Before See? I took, before I took, I honestly, because... Somebody had, when the first time I ever went to Miami, mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. I had Dominicans speaking Spanish to me. See? And I was like, nah, bro. I'm, they're like, no, you're not, you're not Dominican? Mm-hmm. Nah. And I've had Dominicans in New York. They're like, man, you look like you could be Dominican. And that, so when I finally was, I was like, I, you know, you go over the denial part. You be like, hell no, I'm black. <laughs> talking about, I'm black. But then when you start to look and you look at other Dominicans, you be like, oh, yeah, I get it. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, I get yeah. that one. I get so I so I understand the Dominican thing. Yeah. I do understand See, it, but I think that has to do with the black, white, and then the Arabic all mixing in. Boop, and it just make me look like I'm Dominican. Like black, that. white, Arabic, mm-hmm. and then black and white. You just black and white. Are you mixed, Kiki? I'm black. I'm white. Are you I'm biracial? Indian, and I'm Asian. I, I keep telling y'all. I didn't see much Asian. In it there. was some Asian on yeah, there. It definitely was, I was that Filipino. Like it was some orange chicken. It I'm was Filipino. Like, you know. I am Filipino. <laughs> but yeah, and I apologize to all the light-skinned folks. I mean, they it just, I didn't know it was such a deep trauma that y'all experienced having to prove. They like, every day I got to prove my blackness. Like, damn, that, I was just playing that, with my Mexican brother. I didn't mean <laughs> for nothing. You know, like, yeah, I they do take it serious, though. Yeah, they like, oh, every no. day we got to fight. I did not know, so no. I am sorry. And my God, let's get people got it. We got to look yeah. look at some of our leaders. Look at some of our leaders. Some of our black leaders that have been activists for black people. They, they like skin. Like, that's true. They that like skin because they had to. We had to come out the gate proving that we black black. That we got to so come true. out. So, it's a, it's a, you know. My apologies. I, I, y'all you know, all got a chip on y'all shoulder, baby. They all do. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm oh, blood. Okay. Sorry. But, I remember um, I told my baby mama she didn't understand what I was saying when I was just like, I got to be the one to teach my son how to be a light-skinned black man. But, what? It's like, that's a thing. I, I didn't you know. Got to te- you got to teach him, like, hey, bro, you, one, you don't act weird and be like, I'm light-skinned, I'm better than anybody. That's, that's, that, when I hear light-skinned dudes do that, had a weird light-skinned thing, mm-hmm. that gets on, that, I, that's weird. And then, um, just to, just like, hey man, we, we you gotta give them you got you your kids, you gotta give them the armor. You gotta be like, hey man, you this is how you know I'm black. This is how blah blah blah. This is it. Mm-hmm. This is what you know, don't do that to me. Right. It's a yeah. it's a different type of thing. Different. I get it. Different. I didn't know. I thought it was you just You brownies have I didn't have to Chris fight that. Brown them. Brownies, <laughs> that's what you call them. <laughs> I thought the light skinned people was happy. They just come out pop like Yeah, I thought them. they was all good yeah. looks and privilege. I thought hey, I I <laughs> thought it was just peace. Yeah. Everybody was Chris Brown. I yeah. stand corrected. But we, you know how you know we black? Do you want to know how every light skinned person, or at least light skinned man, know he black on the inside? How? Because we like big black women. All oh, right. God. And on that note, <laughs> and on that note, oh, free me. This is why he, <laughs> he loves me. Big black okay? women. Damn, Lil Rod, I'm the victim here. Okay. All right. <laughs> we, are you on your final thoughts? 
Anybody got something? I do. Shout out to the pod film. We love y'all. Y'all been going crazy on the pod. And stop being selfish. Share the pod with other folks, man. I see y'all in the comments gatekeeping. People asking, where can they see the full episode? Where can they see more? Ain't nobody responding. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have to come in there and say, no, nah, y'all know what to tell them people to watch the pod. They want to keep the pod to themselves. Yeah. yeah. No. Some people like it because they don't want it to be like, get super big. And then they be like, oh, you know how black people is. We uh -huh. like it. Then we start fighting each other and stuff yeah. like Joe Budden and them. No, we're not going to do that. No, we're not uh, going to say Joe Budden them. Oh, what? That's what happened. They did get to fight and yeah, broke up. Yeah, you know, Tone got another big girl in here with a with a big wig. Like, no, it's and only some, one Kiki. And, and some skinny nigga. We going to make it work. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I would not. I, not me and Kiki trying to. They playing with more money than we are, though. Trying to go to Joe Budden. Right, no. right. No. I'm not. I'm not. I love the, I love the JBP. I, is it JBP? Yeah, I like I. I, I think it's a good podcast. I, it's unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate what happened with them. Then Rory's my fraternity brother. He's a white capper, which is interesting. I've met him before. Rory, tight, he tight, cool. See, Rory, Ma, and Ma. I like it. It, it was crazy because I think I started listening to it, and I think that's why people listen to our pod. Uh, it's fun, you know. It's fun. Yeah. It's friendly. It's in it, and you. It's like you're a part of the family. Yeah. That was the same thing with that one. The new, the new Joe Budden podcast is cool, but it's different. It's a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, man, that's their thing, and let them, let them do what they do. They having a good, they have, they got a good run. Listen, going. I don't want. I'm not trying to piss off the light skin. Sound girlish. like you did. I'm not. I'm just saying. I, I just noticed Joe Budden. I every time I turn his thing on, it's new people. <laughs> so I be wondering, like, damn, what happened to the last set of people? You know, so. Oh, the new. T it's it's new one since the last. It's like seven of them now, right? It's a lot of people on the couch. I don't know. I don't watch other podcasts. Let me just say that. I don't watch other podcasts other than oh, Club Shay Shay. They go, so, a lot of people they on go the couch. Say I, like, I don't like, see, the thing I don't like is because I don't, I don't like you going to say some stuff. What I do? I fight. So that's why I, like. I don't want, I don't want nobody coming back and being like, oh, <laughs> somehow a clip gets out or somebody shows something and then somebody get mad and then they say something and they say something slick. I'm going to be like, I ain't going to do none of that. I don't do none of that internet. I'm like, bro, I, we going to fight. Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> we I don't want to put nobody in no you, I just, nobody cares what I say. It's when, when you say something the whole way, when I say, I'm just talking. Nobody knows me. I don't, nobody cares. But I'm just saying, well, I don't want, we want to grow, but it, when we do grow, don't be thinking it's about to be Joe Budden up in here. Oh, no. We ain't going to lie. You see, you can't, you keep, you keep, can't, they keep going straight. Oh, let me not say him. It's not going to be, what's another podcast that it broke up? <laughs> B. Yeah. Simone and her friend fell out too. They yeah, had yeah, they, they fell out, they fell and out. then uh, it's another one too. The sports podcast. You remember the sports one? They fell out with Ryan, uh, Clark, with Ryan Clark and the and the dude. Oh, when they uh, what was so it was B. Brian Marshall. Yeah, and then B. Marshall, and then they they are they, they, they formed the pivot. Yep. They formed the pivot, and it used to be. What was it called? I forgot what, it, but they was. Damn, driving. that's crazy. You can't even remember what the big one is called. The first no. one that started. That's crazy. No. Pivot took off. Both of them took off on their own, though. But I, yeah, we, but what Kiki is trying to say, y'all, is that mm -hmm. we are not going to break up if we get bigger. So you don't have to be scared to share, to share us. Because I'm going to be like, lock the door. Whoever bad hit my hand. The money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoever bad. I'm going to put my phone on my shoulder if you knock it off. <laughs> like, See, what the fuck? If, if you knock it off my shoulder, we fighting. You remember when you used to put someone on your shoulder? What does this mean? Like, if you get too close to me, like... like if somebody like, knocked this off your shoulder, they ready to fight. <laughs> Can you just imagine seeing them? Like, you swing first. You swing. But, yeah, that's what it literally happened, because I'm going to just lock the door. Like, we could just fight it out. We're not going to... I don't... I, I, so, the yeah. fighting with Monster Pie happens with ego. Even though I do have one, I yes. don't have one. Yeah. I don't have one. I think that, I think that unfortunately, I think ego... Money, when you see people have ego and money, and somebody secretly wanting to be the the person, mm -hmm. the man, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or like saying, hey, you know, or somebody goes off and does something. Like if y'all went and said, okay, like Kiki got a cooking show, and you got to, you, if you go do another another type of pop, but not nothing like this, I'm not going to be upset with you. I'm like, hey, go do your thing. As long as we still giving the right energy back to the main thing, that right. made the ability for you to do the stem off stuff. Right. right. So just nah. remember you signed to Big Sugar Records. You, you, you know, I signed it. This bad boy, baby. <laughs> take that. Take that. I'm not gonna call you this. <laughs> I I tell Tom he's Big Sugar. I'm not, I'm more, I'm Big Sugar. I <laughs> I'm more Big Sugar than, than big sugar. You can't. 
Y'all can't leave. It's death row, baby. And y'all go, and y'all, y'all we, like I said, we all, if y'all start acting funny, I fight. I'm going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show up. I got, I'm going to show up. I feel I'm still on Zach. I'm going to show up and be like, get your, get your stuff together. <laughs> the yes. next time, this ain't going to be pretty. <laughs> yes. So, shut up, pie. Yeah, shut up, pie, man. I got to go. All right, now, with that being said, no final thoughts. No more final thoughts, man. With that being said, what more can we say?